Hey guys, I'm just gonna, I just want to talk about Law of Attraction from a bit more of a scientific standpoint today. So this is about the Law of Resonance and it's what I'm doing a speech on tonight at Toastmasters. So I thought it's a good thing to talk about. So um, Einstein said that everything in life is vibration and we know at a subatomic level everything vibrates. So if something vibrates, it has a frequency, frequency just being the rate of vibration. And so the law of resonance um, is that when something, um, when two systems, you know, that are vibrating, when the frequencies of two systems that, when the frequency is similar enough, they interact with each other and they influence each other and interact. So when you, so you as a system, are putting out a frequency because at a subatomic level every part of you is vibrating um, and so then when you encounter things that are of very similar or similar enough frequency there's an interaction and that is your experience of life that is the situations that you incur and the people that are in your life that it is the interact because that's your that's your interaction point that's what you're interacting with so that's kind of like, yeah, to describe it from a bit more of a scientific perspective and just kind of happens to be what they say is law of attraction. And I was reading um, a neuroscientist, what he was saying about this, like, yeah, it's law of attraction, but it's not, it's not really law of, like, you're not really attracting things. You're just becoming in the same plane of things. It's like, because the frequency is an electromagnetic field and this can be measured in, um, Dr. Joe Dispenza, I think, um, actually goes around and measures this field and he measures the field um, around people and getting people to do things like meditate or focus on their heart or, you know, think different things and measures how that electromagnetic field changes. So it is a real measurable thing. And um, the way he talks about it, I think it's your thoughts. Your thoughts are the what you're putting putting out, so the, um, your, the frequency that you're putting out and your emotions are kind of what you're attracting in. But um, yeah, you don't even have to think of it in terms of this like attraction and the universe giving you things and like what the universe wants. Like that can get a really bit wanky. Like at its core, it's really just science. Um, and this is kind of a way that, you know, this is just like a really brief, brief, brief way of saying it. Um, brief, I mean, like, concept of it, but, um, yeah, a way that's kind of really just science and forces, which, you know, a lot of people can resonate with, and as a scientifically minded person as well, like, I like to be able to see it that way, I like to be able to kind of put these concepts in a way that is, that it does seem real to me, and, like, and links in, and, you know, they're congruent with each other, they make sense with each other, it's just kind of really different ways of explaining it or approaching it. Uh, so this is my tongue unleashed. If you like this video, please like it and share it with anyone that you think might be interested, uh, and subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the Facebook page if you want to keep getting this content. All right, see you guys.